Hello, Sveiki! My name is Baiba Freidenfeld and I teach Latvian as a foreign language. And today I'd like to tell you more about the four specific verbs in this festive season. Not very verbs are related to the season, but maybe you will find some similarities there too. We'll see. So let's start. So this video will be the fifth part of the first conjugation verbs in Latvian language. And in total, it's a part 10 for the verbs in general. And we will look at uh, four verbs. And these are non-reflexive verbs with the suffix J in the present. That's how they are different from other verbs in this group, first conjugation. These verbs are kļaut, scout, raut, un ļaut. Um, raut and ļaut will be more common verbs. Yeah, kļaut and scout not that much. So raut and ļaut um, would be for the learners of the level A2 as well. But kļaut and scout I believe would be much later. And then we will look at the same verbs derived with the prefixes and we look at the verbs uh, sakļaut, pakļaut, iekļaut, ieskaut, izraut, saraut, noraut, pāraut, ieraut, aizraut, atļaut, pieļaut, neļaut. And then uh, we will look, uh, look at reflexive verbs as well. And these reflexive verbs will be piekļauties, sakļauties, pakļauties, rauties, izrauties, norauties, aizrauties, atļauties. As I mentioned, so we have a J in the present tense. And what's also very common, uh, very important, let's say, and the of in the past forms. That's how we can recognize these four verbs that in the past we use of. Now let's see how it looks like. That these are the verbs and that's the meaning. Cloud is to press to one's breast. So you push something close to you. It could be a person, could be a thing, but one person does that. Scout is to hug. So it could be that, yeah, uh, hug. You hug someone and the reflexive form would be that both of you, yeah. And raut uh, is to pull, to pull. And ļaut is to allow, yeah to permit, to enable. Atļaut, if you use a, ever, a computer in Latvian language, you could say atļaut, to enable, with the prefix at. Yeah, very common. So, next, tātad. In the present form, es kļauju. Yeah, we lose t of this infinitive form, and we add a new ending. Es kļauju, es skauju. Es rauju, es ļauju. Tu kļauj, kļauj, j, j, at the end. Tu skauj, tu rauj, tu ļauj. Same for viņš, viņa, viņi, viņas, tas and šis. Kļauj, skauj, rauj, ļauj. Mēs kļaujam. Skaujam, raujam, ļaujam. Jūs kļaujat, skaujat, raujat, ļaujat. So that's quite clear, right? So these endings we already know. No, this could be something new. In the, in the past, the au, au changes to av. Es kļāvu, skāvu, rāvu, ļāvu. Tu kļāvi, skāvi, rāvi, ļāvi. Viņš, viņa, viņa, viņas, tas šis, kļāva, skāva, rāva un 
ļāva. Mēs kļāvām, skāvām, rāvām, ļāvām. Un jūs kļāvāt, skāvāt, rāvāt, ļāvāt. In the future forms, as often or most of the time, we simply add new ending to the infinitive form. So we lose T and we add new ending. Kļaušu, skaušu, raušu, ļaušu. Tu kļausi, skausi, rausi, ļausi. Viņš kļaus, skaus, raus, ļaus. Mēs kļausim, skausim, rausim, ļausim. Jūs kļausiet, skausiet, rausiet, ļausiet. And let's look at the examples. Es kļauju dēlu sev klāt. Tad I press, ja, or, ja, my son close to me. Ja, or instead of S, it could be viņa kļauj. Ja, she does it. Or we could use in the past. Es kļāvu. In the past, ja, vai viņa kļāva. She did. Vecmāmiņa mani vienmēr cieši skāva. So, the grandmother always hugged me tightly. Yeah, in the past, skāva. So, she hugged very tightly. Viņš ir au jārā pudeles korķi. Tad he pulls out the cork of the bottle. Mēs neļaujam bērniem spēlēt datoru spēres. So, we do not allow the children to play computer games. Agrāk ļāvā. And in the past we allowed. Yeah. And now, try to write your sentences as well. Yeah. Practice present, past, future forms. And try to think about simple sentences. Don't uh, use complicated sentences. Yeah. And remember, if you use it as a second verb, then it's going to be an uh, infinitive form. Yeah. And you need to conjugate the first verb. Let's move on. Answer my questions. Cik bieži jūs skaujat savus mīļos? So how often you hug your loved ones? Vai jūs ļaujat bērniem spēlēt datoru spēles? Do you allow your children to play computer games? Vai jūs kļaujat acis ar rokām, kad jums ir kauns? Remember, kļaut is not only a person, it's something else you could press on. Do you press your hands to your on your eyes when you feel ashamed. That would be literal translation. I believe in English we wouldn't say that. Yeah? Do you cover your eyes with the hands when you feel ashamed? That's the idea. Answer my questions and try to use this verb. Yeah? When it's done, let's move on. Now the same verbs arrive to the prefixes. So the verb kļaut, ja kļaut, to include. Remember, ear is in. Mēs iekļausim ēdienkārtē augsto zupu. We will include, this is a future form, the cold soup in the menu. Sakļaut will be together. Something together. To fold to and fold to close. Sakļausim rokas lūkšanā will mean that let's close the hands together for the prey. I do apologize for my English. It's not, I'm not good in it. I'm just trying to, yeah. I hope it's good enough to, uh, to, to let you, uh, to explain what I want to say. To get the message across. So, next, pa, pa kļaut. Again, completely different meaning now. To subject, to subject, to subordinate, to expose. Bērnus nevajag pa kļaut disciplīnai. No need to expose children to the discipline. 
Lauksaimnieki ir pakļauti laikapstākļiem. Again, I'm not sure which verb would be, yeah, the English version, which verb would be the most common to use, but the idea um, is that the farmers are subject to the weather forecast or uh, weather condition, or they are exposed to the weather condition. Daba ir pakļauta briesmā, so the nature exposed to the danger. Pay attention that after the verb pakļaut, it's plus kam, disciplinai, laikapstākļiem, briesmām. Kam means the noun after the verb pakļaut uh, will be in a dative form. To whom, to what, but in dative. Yeah. Last two sentences is a perfect tense with to be verb plus verb in specific form. When uh, this verb changed, acts like an adjective. Lauksaimnieki pakļauti. Yeah, you see, ir pakļauti. It's not an adjective, it's a verb, but it just acts, it looks like adjective. Daba ir pakļauta. Look at the endings, yeah. But still followed by the dative forms. Scout, ieskaut, to envelope, to enclose, to surround. Māju ieskau lieli koki. So the house is surrounded by the big trees. That is ieskaut. Yeah. And next, raut, paraut. I'm using the, them as a synonyms. But there is a slight difference. Raut is to pull, maybe very hard and very long. Paraut is just a little bit and sharp. Yeah. And but it's at this stage absolutely fine to use it as a synonyms. Yeah. But it's still to pull, longer or shorter, but still to pull. Uh, ear out to drag in, to pull in. Um, that that au is iravu skabargu. I put in the splinter. Yeah, I got the splinter. Man šķiet, ka viņš ierāba par daudz un nevar vairs braukt. The other meaning is he drunk too much and now he cannot drive. Yeah, it, I think so. It seems to me that he drunk too much and he cannot drive anymore. Ieraut, uh, we use also as to drink an alcohol, the drink in. Or the other was ierraut skabargu to get the splinter inside of something. At this stage, ignore the arrow and and this one, and because that's for the next one. Is route is to pull out. And remember, prefix ia is in, is is out. Is route is raumanska bargo lūdzu, please pull out the splinter. What I got, yeah. Un zobars viņam izrāva zobu, so the dentist, dentist put out his teeth, or tooth, teeth, yeah, zobu. Noraut would be to tear off, to tear away, to pull off. Viņš norāva kalendāra lapiņu, he put, uh, he tear off the you know the calendar when you can take the one, yeah, uh, leave away one page. Sarout to tear, to rapture, to sever. sever. Trenijā sarāva muskuli krampī. Sarout krampī is the expression we use when we get a cramp. Yeah, we said that uh, the muscle has been I don't know, teared, the cramp has been teared, never mind, I can't translate it, but that's an expression we use, sarout krampi. Yeah. Uh, sarout diplomatiskās attiecības are to sever the diplomatic relations with, and also sarout uh, we use for um, uh, sports games where we want to encourage our sport athletes uh, to get the better result, so that's what is cream from the uh, uh, seeds. Saroi, saroi, saroi. Yeah. Um, ta and par out, par out to tear apart. That would be really in two parts now. 
Ja? Ai, es sarāvu savu spēļu krelles. So, I sever my pearl beads. Oh, maybe something else. Ja? But the same verb sarāvu we use for that cramp as well. Just something to keep in mind if you go to the gym often. Tā. Oh, so fast. So now it's your turn. Try to build the sentence with and, uh, these uh, prefixes, yeah? verbs with the prefixes. If you want me to check, feel free to send it. I'll be happy to check it. Now reflexive verbs. So again, the same verbs, but reflexive form with and without prefixes. So, you know, when the reflexive form uh, is used, the same rules what were used for the non-reflexive forms will be applied to the reflexive verb form. So again, in the past, we will add av instead of au. In the future, we keep the same au. In the present, we have au, but then we have a j's. But look at the two form, there isn't. Yeah. There is. Tu pakļau, yes, there must be J as well. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. It is there. Yeah. In the past, there isn't, but in the present, there is. There is J as well. Pakļau, yes. Yeah. Do apologize. So, es piekļaujos, tu piekļaujies, j, viņš piekļaujas, mēs piekļaujamies, jūs piekļaujaties. Piekļauties, to press oneself against to, uh, it could be a person, it could be a tree or ground or, I don't know. Anything you can think of. Sakļauties, for the verb sakļauties, we need to at least two or um, things together. To close up, to fold up. So it cannot be one only. If it's one, es sakļaujos, but then you follow with R with. I close up with something. Yeah, it's all for singular forms. For plural forms, no need for R. That mēs sakļaujamies, jūs sakļaujaties, viņi sakļaujas, viņas sakļaujas. Pakļauties is to submit, to obey. Es pakļāvos in the past, tu pakļāvies in the past, viņš pakļāvās, mēs pakļāvāmies un jūs pakļāvāties in the past. Oina prezent, es pakļaujos, tu pakļaujies. Viņš pakļaujas, mēs pakļaujamies, jūs pakļaujaties. Rauties, to shrink. Es raušos, tu rausies, viņš rausies, mēs rausimies, jūs rausieties. That's a future forms. Izrauties, with the prefix is, the same verb is used to tear oneself away, to get out, like, Pull yourself out to the, um, from the where you are, from the daily routine or from your job or wherever you need to get out of. Nuarautis, to came off. To break loose. Yeah, it could be your dog from the leash. Also used for um, expression to work hard. Nuarautis darba, like to ar darbu, yeah. Aizrauties, aizrauties uh, would be to be carried away, to be swept away by something, like a hobby, you have a new hobby, yeah, or you are, I don't know, carried away, swept away with a new series maybe, yeah, then you can use this verb, es aizraujos ar serialu, with a series, yeah, es aizraujos mm, ar franču kino, Es aizraujos ar džeza mūziku, es aizraujos ar, ja, vai, o, oh, in the past, es aizraujos ar agrāk, before. Un, the last one is atļauties to afford. How can we afford? Atļauties. And also uh, to dare. 
And when we conjugate these verbs, we take away ts, yeah, of all verbs, ts we take away, and we add new ending. And remember, that is a j. That is a j. Yes. Next. The example sentences. Bands be a clauis, mammai. So the child press himself onto his mum. Or he hugs his mum. Katyan is saklyao is like butu siltak. So the kittens are close together to keep it warm. Mes visi vairāk vai mazāk pakļaujamies likumiem. All of us, more or less, are ob obey law. Viņa raujas pa dārbu septiņas dienas nedēļā. It means, remember this yeah, expression of working hard. She works hard seven days a week. Šis džemperis nesarausies, ja to mazgāšu 60 grādu temperatūrā. Won't this jumper shrink if I will wash it in 60 degree temperature? Nesarausies, it should be ne, n-e, n-e, not r-e. Šo džemperi mazgā karstā temperatūrā, šo džemperi nemazgā karstā temperatūrā, tas raujas. So, um, this jumper don't wash in a hot temperature, it will shrink. And that's your new jumper, yeah, for the another family member. Mēs beidzot izrāvāmies no mājām un aizbraucām ceļojumā uz Latgali. Beidzot, finally, we izrāvāmies. So we get out of the house and we went on a trip to Latgale. We got to get ourselves, we got ourselves out of the house. Vizulis norāvās. So this thing, vizulis, yeah, and so if you put it in the water with a lot of grass underneath, yeah, you will most probably lose it. So, um, but in Latin we say that's kind of interesting way to say it. Vizulis norāvās, like he did it itself, yeah, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my guilt, I'm not guilty. He did it itself. Vizulis norāvās. Also, this expression is, especially when the children are angry and or annoyed about something and then they threaten another one and says, tu, tu lit Or sometimes parents can say that. So you will, you will, I don't know what's exactly the expression in English. You will get it so, ah. Mani dēli aizraujas ar makšķerēšanu. So my sons being swept away by fishing, so they are like fishing, yeah. Es agrāk arī aizrāvus ar makšķerēšanu. So I also, yeah, um, before uh, was swept away by fishing <laughs> again. Um, probably in English we would say differently, but that's the idea. Now we say it, aizraut, to pull away. And then my attention has been pulled away with this thing. Not true, but never mind. <laughs> Mēs varam atļauties ceļot katru gadu. So we can afford to travel every year. In this case, atļauties is a second verb. Yeah? We conjugate the first verb, varam. We can afford to travel every year. Or we can add a ne in front of varam. Mēs nevaram, we cannot. Yeah? And the last one, ko tu atļaujies? Ko tu atļaujies? Maybe this is the sentence you can start to use somewhere. Sometimes. Not too often. Again, it's for you work now. Try to build sentences. Yeah, In present past forms, different persons, and practice the verbs. Answer to the questions. Cik bieži jūs izraujaties no ikdienas rutīnas? So, how often do you get out your daily routine? Ar ko jūs aizraujaties pēdējā laikā? 
So what's your uh, last hobby? So what you've been swept away with lately? Vai jūs tagad varat atļauties vairāk nekā pirms desmit gadiem? Vai jūs tagad varat atļauties vairāk nekā pirms desmit gadiem? Can you afford more now than ten years ago? Kāpēc jūsu džemperis nav sarāvies? Why your jumper hasn't shrink? Kam tu pakļaujies? What do you obey? Yeah, the question also is kam, because remember, after pakļauties, we use the noun in dative, and the dative question word is kam. Kam tu pakļaujies? Who do you obey? Or what do you obey? Could be a person, could be a thing. Yeah, again, try to answer these questions. Be happy to see your answers in the comments after the video or send me an email if you like. That's it. That's it today, Paldies. And um, good luck with your studies. Enjoy Latvian language. Try to speak in Latvian whenever it's possible for you. And I'll see you next time in the next video or next webinar. Paldies, visu labu, ata!